you just know that okay study that you want to study is study that you want to study brothers and sisters <laughs> you can come to cyprus and study. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and you're basically if you like the content you see, subscribe and like. So today we are talking about from the caption you should know we are talking about Cyprus. Yeah, so if you're an international student that wants to come to Cyprus, especially from Nigeria, you should watch this video. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so if you're coming, if you're planning or like you're looking for school to study abroad or you want to move to another country and Cyprus is part of your list, I have some things to tell you. Yes. And one of those things is that, because we all know that money is very important. One of those things is that money is very important. And try and have a sponsor if you're coming to study, yeah? Try and have a sponsor. Someone who, at least for two years, are going, is going to be footing your bills. Or if I just don't have money, basically, because like... These people here want your money and they will find a way to take your money. And prices of things are going are increasing daily. If you were if you are listening to somebody who has who was here five years ago or four years ago as like taking advice from the person and wanting to come to Cyprus because they are telling you that it's cheap. Okay, maybe it's cheaper than some abroad countries, yeah. But if you are listening to that person that is very cheap. Everything is less expensive. Don't listen. That's a lie. Because things are actually increasing daily. And another thing is, Nigeria Bank will disgrace you. They will embarrass you when you come to Cyprus. They will like basically embarrass you. Their card, your debit and your credit card, is going to embarrass you. You would go to the supermarket. It has limits, guy. You would go to the supermarket and finish picking your groceries and all. Time to pay. But uh, these people here, eh? <laughs> they'll shout it, no money. You, you know that you have money in your account. But they'll shout, no money, no money. And what would you do? Try it again. You try it again. And no money. <laughs> one, that's one. <clears throat> they'll surely embarrass you. If you have issues, if you open, if your account is opened in your name, like another person does open their account, one of the solutions here is that somebody in Nigeria should open your account for you. That's if you're in Nigeria and yeah, open an account for you and be operating the account just in case you have issues with transfer, mon your money hands and all, the person will be able to go settle it because. Hmm, you will send mail, you will tie <laughs> I'm talking out of experience, guy. You will send mail, eh? You will tire to send mail. <laughs> so, yeah, just make sure that you have money, first of all, to pay fees. Because, like, there was one time that it was like, this one is, our administrator said it, that if you are not satisfied, if you are not okay, leave. That means they are not going to do anything about it. And you have to pay your fees before you can write the exam. Yes, you have to pay your fees before you can write the exam. If you somehow write the exam without paying your fees, you will not be able to see your results. You will not be able to know the one you filled and the one to receipt. Carry money and <laughs> come. Yes, another thing I would tell you is, if it's agent you are trying to use, if you want to come to Cyprus anyways, you can send me a message or send, put your email in the comment section, I can, section I can help you out with it. If the agent you are trying to use doesn't tell you about the school that they are trying to register you under, 
my girl room because especially when you're in the, when you want to come for the medical fields you get because like like nursing medicine public health and all that some schools are not accredited cyprus some cyprus schools medical medical schools are not accredited yes i'll tell you that for free some of them are not this is me helping out a brother or a sister that wants to come here some of them most of the nursing departments are like medicine i call it public health stores some are not accredited some are accredited under turkey that means countries that recognize turkey recognize your certificate some nigerian some schools nigerian boards nigerian nursing boards have not come to accredit them and they may not tell you and you may not know but anyways you can still use your certificate but just make sure that you confirm the accreditation of the school you are trying to enter that's another one for free very free very free i know that your agent must have told you that when you come to school that you see laptop on your decks you would see they will give you free laptop that everything you'll be using to learn is laptop you don't need to carry book <laughs> my brothers my sisters <laughs> It's a lie. Okay, I'm in one of our classrooms. Okay, the classrooms are fine, comfortable. There is AC, there is air condition, there is that's AC, and there is heater for the winter and summer. But you're not getting any free laptop. That's one of the things I was told. You are not getting any free laptop. Buy your own if you want. Buy your own, guy, sister. Buy your own. But you learn with projectors, all those fancy, fancy. You learn with projectors, speaker, and everything. Your lecturer will be projecting like everything to the board for you, like this one. But no laptop. <laughs> housing, housing. Yeah, you if you want, you pay. They use Turkish lira. This country uses Turkish lira. But you pay for house, especially in the big cities. Let me differentiate it for you. We have Lefkusha, we have Guinea, we have Famagusa, we have Lefke. Those are like like one of the like the major cities. Yeah. In in Lefke, okay, you pay your house rent in Turkish Lira. Lefkusha in Guinea in Magusa. Most places pay in dollar, in pounds. In euros you don't just check the exchange rates you would not pay just my dear if you have a better option take it just carry money and come the first time you are coming carry money and come so that you not sleep on the road that's another one because when you even come into the hostel for how mine was done when, when, when we entered the hostel oh it was all fine all all that the first time they received us the next, the fact that we woke up, they were telling, asking us for payment. So we had to take our things out and everything and look for a place to stay. Because like the, the hostel, the, the dorms and, and like private buildings, there is obvious difference in the pricing. So just carry money. Just know that you're not going to be spending in, mostly in the local currency when you want to get house. Yes, you will not be spending in local currency like that, especially when you want to stay in the big cities. Your the landlord will take it up pounds, euros, or dollars. <laughs> right there. And the exchange rate is crazy. And the housing is expensive in those big cities, anyways. But if you come to Left Care, Left Care is not like that that expensive like other cities. So school fees. You pay your school fees in dollars, pounds, or euros. One of them. Their people pay the Turkish, the Turkish people and the Cypriots. They pay in their local currency. You are an international student. 
they feel you are coming with a bag load of money <laughs> so you're not paying any local currency you're paying in hard currency so just know that and the exchange rate is like crazy and you know that when you're even coming from nigeria naira you just get a cd normally then speaking of when you are changing naira to dollar or euro or pound even if even if it's a Turkish dollar set, it's still expensive. It's still expensive. School fees. You will pay your school fees in dollars, pounds, or euros. One of them. There are people pay the Turkish, the Turkish people are the Cypriot. They pay in their local currency. You are an international student. They feel you are coming with a bag load of money. <laughs> so you're not paying any local currency. You are paying in hard currency. So just know that. And the exchange rate is like crazy. And you know that when you're even coming from Nigeria, Naira, you just get a CD normally. Then speaking of when you are changing Naira to dollar or euro or pound, even if, even if it's a Turkish dollar set, it's still expensive. It's still expensive. And no guy, the language is actually a barrier. Yes. Language is a barrier. I mean our class, this is I mean European University of Lefke. So I'm telling you out of experience. Language is a barrier. If you want to, if you plan on doing petty jobs like to work and everything they are telling you that when you come abroad there is job everywhere cyprus is not part of those places except you know how to speak their language you get like blacks that can speak their language have more opportunities and obviously that it will just work that way so language is actually a barrier a very big barrier when you come in when i came initially i wasn't even hearing the shibri shibri according to my brother like that the lecturers were speaking so you just have to get used to their pattern of speaking the english you get language barrier. if you want to walk you have to learn their language if you want to walk here with them you have to learn their language and it's not office work that you're working just know that that is not office work that you're coming to do that you get restaurant works hotel works um if you finish school or you're trying to do your internship or something some hospital and all like you're not coming to do an office work that will be giving you thousands and thousands of dollars so just know that that some of, some people don't even know how to speak english it will be difficult for you to communicate with their citizens except the person is is like is english part of like education you get so language is a barrier speaking truth yeah there is a there is a bit touch of racism <laughs> yes i'm not going to lie because like, i'm not lying to anybody there is a a, a little well, let's say a little touch there are plenty of touches of racism here and there and the first time i experienced such a thing i, I almost fainted <laughs> Because it's, it's my first, it was my first time coming out to like a white society, so I almost fainted. So just ready your mind, know that you are not in your country, and something must happen. Yes, just know that. And like, there's no need quote sugar coating anything for the internet. We have seen, we are seeing it everywhere. Something must happen. There are touches of it everywhere. I'm inside this school today place is a little bit quiet apart from that bike or whatever let's say bike or mini car that is making noise because it's saturday you get so there is a bit touch of racism here and there <laughs> but anyways you get used to it or by the time you're coming things must have changed drastically like very well or 
people must have changed so. that there are actually advantages if you want to see more of the disadvantages or you want to know more you put it in the comment section below so i can make more videos on the disadvantages or more disadvantages you get or more things you will face if you finally decide to come but one of the like some of the advantages are in my own school that's one really good thing about my school is what you are taught that you will see in the exam like what is in our slides the the, the stuff that like the teachers that's what you see in your exam nobody the lectures are not just intentionally trying to fail you and bringing out things that are not in that they don't teach like some schools that you know of they actually like set things that you are taught so that's just how it is and the country is safe to an <laughs> yes there is no you would not be walking in the night and be scared of somebody coming to shoot you or somebody robbing you or something related to that no the country is actually safe yes that's that's another one like i'm a person who was scared of okay <laughs> wrong angle of the sun but anyways i'll use it i'm a person who was scared of night coming out at night and rain because like i had some bad experiences with it but yeah i walk around 11 then 12 i'm sometimes i'm still outside so yeah that's it just this place gave me the sense of safety of the society and environment that's one of the advantages of this place but like yeah but some of their drivers drive crazy anyways it's everywhere even with all the traffic rules and everything but yeah there is this sense of safety that you get i would say anyways if you want to travel abroad you want to leave nigeria and you want to study you just know okay you study that you want to study you study that you want to study brothers and sisters <laughs> You can come to Cyprus and study, if you please. Yes, you can, most definitely. I'm here, mm -hmm. so I cannot say don't come. But if you want to study, you can come to Cyprus and study. Peace.